5 Steps to Financial Independence Financial independence is the ability to live comfortably without having to actively work to pay for essentials. The majority of us see the day when we can leave our day jobs and pursue our passions, but few of us are taking the necessary steps to make that dream a reality. Many people are unsure of where to start when it comes to achieving financial freedom because it appears like an extremely hard undertaking. It is best to divide the work into smaller segments in order to obtain financial freedom. 1. Specify your own financial independence objective. Our ideas of financial freedom are just as varied as our globe. Eliminating debt may make some people feel liberated financially. Others experience financial freedom when they earn enough money to pay off their debt, cover their living needs, and have some cash left over for family and leisure. Having enough money to tour the world, indulge in their passions, or give back to their communities is a common ambition. Your own financial freedom goals are unique to you. You can plan your route once you've decided on your goals. 2. Establish an emergency fund. Everyone should place a high focus on saving money for emergencies. The main factors separating those who are able to avoid debt from others who are sucked into it may be maintaining an emergency savings account. A good rule of thumb is to have three to six months worth of costs covered. You can easily handle unforeseen financial issues by having emergency funds, such as auto repair, loss of employment, extensive home repairs, unanticipated dental work, unexpected travel costs, a trip to the emergency room, replacement technology devices or computers. At the end of each month, there is rarely extra money, but there are resourceful ways to raise money to finance your emergency fund. You can improve your spending habits by making gradual, small changes. Here are a few concepts. Create a payroll savings account that is automated. Since the money never reaches your checking account, you won't miss it. When your emergency fund balance starts to grow, you'll be more inclined to save more money. Place your tax refund in a bank. Request that family members put their spare change in a savings container. Hold yard sales every two years. Switch to Netflix or Hulu streaming instead of cable. Acquire a second job. To cut down on dining out, prepare meals on the weekends and pack lunches for the week. If you make these small changes in your life, you'll be pleasantly surprised by the consequences. 3. Repay credit card debt and other loans. If credit card balances are not paid off completely each month, debt can become unmanageable and frequently snowballs out of control. The true cost of making minimal payments is broken down in this informative article from NerdWallet. Paying minimum payments every month can take years to pay off. Because they gain more money by charging interest, credit card firms don't mind if their customers only pay the minimal amount due. You then continue to pay interest on interest by adding that interest to your remaining principal balance and accrued interest. By increasing your monthly payment on the credit card with the highest interest rate, you can end the cycle. When you have paid off that balance, repeat the process with the card with the next highest interest rate until all of your credit card balances are paid off. You can then utilize the money you were wasting on interest to settle other debts. You will be able to start making purchases that you can actually afford once you are debt-free. 4. Reimburse yourself initially. Create your retirement fund first. Find out from your human resources department if an employee-sponsored 401k is offered, it is simple to get started. If not, you can always open a standard IRA or, if you're ineligible for a Roth IRA, a Roth IRA. Starting out slowly and progressively increasing your savings to 15% of your salary is an excellent strategy. Most people start off with a smaller percentage and increase their retirement contributions by 1% for every rise in income. You won't miss the money since you have never had it before. Early and consistent retirement savings are advised. The following graph illustrates how advantageous it is to start saving early. 5. Establish and follow a workable budget. Based on your income, not your expenses, create a monthly budget. 
Once you know how much money you have to spend, reduce your spending so that you can live within that amount. Living within your means is another name for this. You may design a way of life for yourself and still have money left over. The golden rule of financial freedom is to spend less money than you earn. Buying only what you require and wanting what you already have is the key to living within your means. By living within your means, you develop the habit of saving. Because they never taught how to save money, many people are in debt. A survival skill that is often overlooked is saving money. Now you're moving in the right direction. You are in a better position than many of your peers since you are reading this. We all want a financial independence, and it is possible. Best of luck!